On most modern cars, they have what's called an occupant detection system. And that, what that does is when there's a passenger in the passenger seat, it'll either have the airbag turn on or turn off in a collision. So if there's no passenger in the seat, the airbag won't go off and you won't have to replace that airbag module. When you replace any part of the system though, you do have to do some calibrations and some resets. For example, on this Hyundai right here, if you replace any part of the seat, you have to actually reset the system, recalibrate it. So let's walk through that right now on this car. Okay, so the tool is hooked to the car and the ignition's on, so let's power up the tool. And we're going to select our scanner function. The beep means it's already automatically identified our car for us, so it's going to load through, go through the automatic ID process. There's my vehicle. Click OK. Come up with a list of systems. Should be a couple pages down here. Occupant detection system right there. And then you see we've got codes and uh, pods reset. So the pods reset is going to be the function we're going to use here. So we'll click on that. And it says pods comes from the passive occupancy detection system. This function is used for initialization of the pods ECU. And it's currently a vented and heated uh, type of seat. So it says we're going to use the pods reset when the front passenger seat is empty. So we want to make sure there's nothing in it. If the reset fails, carry out the steps below. Uh, you're going to double check, make sure there's nothing in it. And also uh, cycle the key before you if they have to, have to reset it again. So we're just going to go continue here. And then please select the reset mode in the next step. So you're going to choose the auto mode when you're replacing the seat assembly or the seat foam. And then you choose manual mode when you're replacing the ECU itself. So we're just going to do go through as if we'd replace some seat components. So we'll click continue there. So we want to do auto mode. It's going to say it's doing the test. It's going to re-zero the seat. Estimate what weight is in there. So it says the reset's completed. We should check for any codes in the system. So we'll just go through here and double check the codes real quick. Click on codes. No codes present. The job is done and the seat is reset.